Hello and welcome to the fifth instalment of our Harvest Highlights series. Showers have restricted many growers across the UK to only steady progress this week, but the majority of the winter barley area is now safely in the shed. All seed rape and wheat crops are where the majority of combines are working as we speak, but winter oats, spring barley and combining peas have been adding to the hectic harvest schedule. Essex grower Bill Wheaton is harvesting wheat ahead of his all seed rape for the first time that he can remember. He has now cut 91 hectares of the farm's 150 hectares of wheat near Braintree and milling varieties Solstice and Crusoe have been the first through the combine. And so far yields have been around 8.7 tonnes to the hectare mark with specific weight between 76 and 80 and a reasonable protein of 12.5 to 13%. Nationally, it's estimated that around 5% of the wheat area has now been harvested, but a considerable chunk of the all-seed rape crop is now complete. The earliest rape to be harvested were the earliest established, and yields from these crops have been better than expected, with some in excess of 4 tonnes to the hectare. We've had some more aerial footage sent in, but this time from the south of England, where Martin Smart's friend filmed his all-seed rape trials being cut from his quadcopter with mounted camera. Martin trials a dozen or so rape varieties each year across 1,600 hectares of varying soil types from Chippenham to Warminster. He was pleased with Troy which yielded 4.3 tonnes to the hectare. Compass was the easiest to combine and he also earmarked Jim Fizz and Harper as good potential varieties. Despite many Scottish growers waiting patiently for all seed rape to ripen, we have now received our first report of rape being harvested north of the border. Jim Gardner near Forfar Angus managed to grab a trailer load of Ortega with his 1981 New Holland 8060 which tackles the oilseed rate before the modern CR 9060 takes over for the spring barley and wheat. The moisture was still a little high but the sample was good and he expects to get going again this week and reports that his neighbouring farmers are doing the same. Spring barley remains a waiting game for many but reports of the crop being cut are continuing to trickle in. Charles Quick, down near Taunton in Somerset, has been harvesting some of the family farm's 50 hectares of Propino spring malting barley that replaced a failed wheat crop. Yields off the combine are ranging from 6 to 8 tonnes to the hectare at 13.5% moisture, with specific weight of around 70 and there's plenty of good straw. And finally, one grower finished his harvest last Saturday after 8 weeks of hard work, but it's probably not the harvest you were thinking. Mark Bottright at South West Garlic Farm in West Dorset sent us footage of his modified leek harvester picking up the half million bulbs he produced this year for retailers and restaurants. It's nice to see homegrown British garlic making a comeback. And on that note it's time to go but please keep sending us your photos, videos and harvest info through all the usual channels which will follow. Fingers crossed the weather stays fair and see you next week.